Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. When we last left off, we had gone through to the end game, and apparently, all of our um, trials so far have led us back to the beginning. So, let's start grabbing some things, shall we? I think the first thing we need to do is read this, because I can't remember if we did. So that, uh, yeah, is just gonna tell us about the wall safe codes. Uh, I don't think we really need to take anything with us, so well, let's just go for now. Also, I really like, um, and, oh, we do need the flashlight. Okay, well, technically we don't really need it, but it's gonna make things a little bit easier. Yeah, I really like Alistair's new design. It's really cool. I like the bit of body armor she's got on her chest. And I don't know, man. I just think she looks cool. Okay, let's go. So let's start exploring our old digs, shall we? And of course, we have the together, together to victory over the empire. I really want to know more about what's going on with that. So we've got some grenade shells. I've played around with the grenade shells, and I'm not impressed. Uh, oof. Against the um, actual uh, storch enemies, you know, the big tall ones with the uh, arm-mounted shields, they, it's useless against those. Anyway, remember the safe? Do you remember the key code to it? Good, because we need it. But that's okay. Because um, <laughs> I have the key code for it in my notes somewhere. 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 Next page. Uh, right, cool. So it's 20, 45, 12. Oop, which is good because we need this. And we get the uh, key card out of it. The classroom key, which is good because we really need the classroom key. All right, so things are going to get a little bit hairy from here on out. Sneak, 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 sneak. Oh, God. Okay, that didn't go well. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Let's just charge straight through. So there's a rather nasty looking corrupted staunch back then. I think they're called Storch. No, Storch. I said Staunch. Storch. Alright, let's sneak past these eels. Oh, oh, oh. Good lord. Oh god, yep, this room is not easy to avoid getting damage, to be honest. you got to just mash, 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 <laughs> and hope for the best. Yeah, unfortunately, even whilst you're going through... Um, messages and uh, using items and stuff the game doesn't pause so you can actually take a considerable amount of damage there which is kind of sucky but hey whatever we got there there's a hole in the ground it looks like I can drop down safely drop down the hole well it seems like the right thing to do in this situation doesn't it so let's go Adler You've changed. As our friend Adler. That's creepy. So he kisses her on the forehead and I guess he gets infected. It's like everything was taken apart and put back together by somebody who doesn't understand how it works. I have become whole again. I wear no mask. So, I guess that's what these guys kind of look like under their masks. I'm not really sure. But he looks pretty grisly. And I hate everything. Okay, bit emo. Perhaps this is hell. The space intentionally left blank. And now... Rot front. 
back to where we started, kind of. This is the final part of the game. Poor little Esther. She's really not doing so well, is she? Well, no matter. We're back. I guess it's time to start exploring. There's a puzzle here, but we can't do anything with it yet. Although it does have like a creepy little peephole type thing. Dealio dearly, going on. But obviously, we can't do anything with it. So let's get going. Well, this place crawls. Now we're going to be using this place a lot, that corridor a lot. So probably going to want to start wiping those guys out. Now, 8mm ammo. Yes, please. And the submachine gun. Yes, please. <laughs> we're going to be tucking that bad boy away. Right. Let's have a little look in the post box. What have we got? So, your requisition for a Type 84 submachine gun was successfully processed. Responsible body. Aeon Command, Rockfort Nord. Okay. One Type 84 Drac burst fire. 120 rounds. So, they authorized one submachine gun with 120 rounds of ammo. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. It's a shame that we don't have the 120 rounds. Okay, so photo store keys. The locksmith said it will take at least a period until uh, replacement key is done. My niece is my niece currently has the only other key, but she's still at the hospital right now. Yong. So Yong, eh? Isn't that um our friend's second name? Hmm. To the block wall of Sector C, there are rumours that there is an Imperial spy active in your area. A Protector Special Operations Unit has been dispatched from Aeon Headquarters on uh, Heimat to investigate and should arrive within 6 to 12 cycles. Needless to say, should they be successful, this will not reflect well on your record. You know what to do. That's probably why there are so many beatings and interrogations going on. Um, seasonal review. As every season, your performance will be subject to review by a local command soon. Remember that this review will determine if you will be marked for replacement. I understand that you need entry to the bookstore for your patrol, but we do not have spare key for the front door. However, you can use the back entrance to get into the store. It's secured with a keypad. The code is the birthday of my daughter's note. They were both born on Vinter. Check the last six digits of their PKZ numbers. Kind regards. Hmm. No. <laughs> Subject relocation. No. Well, let's grab all these emails for safekeeping. Whilst I drink my peppermint coffee. If that sounds questionable to you, yeah, it's kind of questionable. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit better than it is. Alright, anyway, so let's go back here and hark, we have a save room and a thermite flare, which is good. A repair patch as well, very nice. Now, we are going to do some clearance. So, let's grab the handgun. Ah, right, yeah. Of course, we're full on everything. Let's drop the submachine gun. We want to save the submachine gun and the revolver, but pretty much anything else we can just have a little bit of fun with now. Uh, we could take the rifle. We could experience the rifle. Um, it's... Eh, I guess. I don't know. It's... I guess it's fine. It's slow oh so very slow and what we want to do is remove the th the filth that inhabits 
this corridor just because we're going to be coming back and forth through here a few times right you're done you're done now we need to squish these before they get back up there we go alright that'll do now this storch is a pain in the ass luckily our extremely powerful rifle just blares straight through her armor as if it was nothing okay so I think we're burning all three of them cool uh, let's reload the rifle and explore let's go into the next room uh, probably gonna want our torch there ain't much in here apart from pain right we're gonna grab that gonna take a hit but that's fine we don't mind taking a hit probably worth it uh, and our inventory is bloody full right up already look at that we've been in two rooms and already our inventory is full to bursting really is the bottleneck around here I mean our inventory I should say really is the bottleneck around here so let's store those we only have three shots left for the rifle and I know I guess three shots does mean three dead enemies but let's eat that let's take the shotgun for a spin I haven't used that for a while have we got a relatively decent amount of ammo for it I suppose load that bad boy oh that's the rifle we do not want the rifle we want the shotgun yes the shotgun sadly we've got to go and actually like reload it and then take some more shells out of the box god damn it yeah I think these guys kinda need to remember like the reason we don't use this sort of inventory system anymore is because it wasn't good <laughs> it wasn't fun that's why we don't use this inventory system anymore there was nothing good about it okay so I guess we can go upstairs sure let's go upstairs have a little poke around up here. Oh, hi guys. Oh, they've seen us. Let's get rid of you. You want another one, huh? That could be arranged. Oof. Oof. That works rather nicely, actually. Right, let's reload, get some more shells in this motherfucker. And keep exploring. Right, that was the room we came out of. Of course it was. I knew that. And we need a key for that one. That one we can't use. Uh, right. Ooh. Oh. Things are a little bit tasty in here. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. Luckily. Oof, God. That was rough. Reload. And we're almost out of ammo with our shotgun already. And we've barely used the thing. But we have a developing tank, which is a thing that we're going to probably use. Alright. Now, we can't go through there. We can go through here, mind. That leads us into another room. Turn our light off. Ah, okay. So our light is off, but... We still... Can't really creep around in here, can we? There's two items by the look of things. Right, let's just charge. Run! Run! Ooh! take the spray how do we get in there then I don't know Oof! let's just duck through this corridor and hide hospital hallway okay 
Oh, our inventory is full, and we've unlocked the door. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Nitro Express ammo. All right, let's just go. Probably could use with clearing that area out, to be honest. But before we do anything, if you think to yourself, we need to go back and clear out our inventory, you'd be right. Oh, man. Might burn some of these bodies as well. I don't know. Maybe we will. Trouble is, they're not going to stay dead for long. Nothing in this game truly stays dead for long. Until you burn them. But burning them is a extreme luxury that we just don't seem to have. So we're just going to be living with this bloody item box forever and a day. Uh, let's, uh, I guess, take the rifle, put that back. Um, put the two shells back that we had. Developing tank, don't think we need it yet. Don't need the repair spray. We'll take the rifle and the Nitro Express because we know we're going to get some more of that in a minute. Um, right. Should we just take some thermite as well just to burn some of these bodies? I mean, I guess we could. I guess. What's the worst that could happen? You know, apart from the fact that we could just, you know, run out of space again. Which seems to be generally how things go. Um, now... So we know, let's go into the ladder room. Right, we can go through that one, but we don't need to yet. Let's head upstairs. Right. So this one. Looks like there's something nice on that table over there. And we know we need that. Right, you're done. You're done. Let's just get rid of these guys. Don't think we need to come back in this room, so we're not going to burn them. Let's load up. We've got some repair patches. Okay. And, ah, uh, unable to carry the ammo. Because, of course we are. Oh, good God, man. Good God, man. Well, I guess we're going to go all the way back down. Oh, there's some blurb here. Mindfest celebrations cancelled over safety concerns. The seasonal Mindfest celebration a young but well-established tradition in most Rockford sectors will not be allowed to take place until further notice, the Protector Public Office has announced today. There is a credible threat to public safety that is currently under Protector investigation. Citizens are only to leave home for work and report all suspicious activities to their block warden. When pressed about rumours of an Imperial spy living in Sector C, the Protector Public Office only repeated their appeal to citizens to report all suspicious activities to a Protector. Alright, that's fine, but God, man, we really are screwed with this inventory. Oh, oh, she's got up again already. You know what? Maybe her and the other one should be burnt. Okay, right, let's continue. Right, let's go back to the item box and drop everything back off. This is going to be a real kick in the ass. Now, these guys should be totally dead now. Which is good. It's exactly what we want. Crispy noodles. Okay, 
so oof. so we've got the nitro express which we will hold on to probably get rid of the thermite and the repair patches uh, the hand wheel for controlling a pipe valve now this is the interesting thing um, I don't know where we need that uh, right let's have a little look um, so we've still got a lot of rooms to fiddle about up in there but the ladder we've got the hospital hallway let's go check the hospital out shall we let's go have a dig around up there um, but yeah unfortunately that only does give us two items play, uh, spaces to play with but that's fine that's okay we will make do we always do now there was something right over in this hallway wasn't there I noticed the screen's going glitchy like really glitchy Right, we've got 12mm ammo. Problem with the 12mm ammo is now we've just used another item space. Ah, oh, damn it all. Oh, that's the music playing. Yeah, remember when we said we had item spaces free? Yeah, we don't. We don't have item spaces free anymore. Ah, oh, god damn it. What can we ditch? Well, the reality is we can't really ditch anything. Mm. Okay, we've got some more information here. Teacher's evaluation. Oh. So that's for Irene Young. The girl without doubt is remarkably odd, certainly due to her being raised solely by her mother. Really? Does that make a big effect? I don't know. Um, rather than by a community of good people overseen by a block warden, as is normal these days. Right. Okay. So, the way children are brought up these days is by a community of people. Okay, that's interesting. Her obsession with painting, music, and other such nonsense was clearly implanted during her time living in the mountains on that desolate radio outpost. And surely her friendship with those uh, Vintian-born uh, Itzau sisters also exposed her to some of the questionable literature that is highly sold in their parents' bookstore. Interesting. My God. This place is so dystopian. She does not seem to understand that these distractions are no longer acceptable now. That she must partake in the society of our nation like anybody else. Personally, I can only hope military service will beat those fibrous ideas out of her and in a way that school has failed to do so, so far. So she's a free spirit, essentially. There's a picture of a magpie in the box above what looks like a small speaker or a, a microphone. So we could try using our microphone module Let's see if we can get any joy that doesn't appear to be the case nothing nope I guess not I guess we need like a particular kind of tune or something yeah, so in this society, it's kind of looked down upon like having any kind of interests or hobbies. One of those, uh, you must work yourselves to death and have no fun and no joy kind of situations. Unlocks from the other side. That's cool. We like these dystopian. Oh, God. Move. We like these dystopian societies. Oh, great. Can we have any kind of escape? 
Nope, nothing there. Um, right, we're kind of screwed here. So for now, let's just try and get out of here. We're obviously not going in the right direction. Ah, the magpie box. Damn it, we didn't quite suss that one out. Wow, these guys are not staying dead at all. Um, that's fun. Can we go through, please? Thank you. Yeah, this corridor is just death. Death and destruction. Ah, oh, that's a... Uh, that's a pisser. Right, so we've got more items up here in this magpie kind of like area, but we can't grab any of them. Not good. They're still dead for now. So I guess we're going to pick another floor and play with that one. Just have to remember, we still can't use that one. Just have to remember that. There's still items in that room. So when we go back into that one, we need to take other things with us. Right, let's go empty our inventory out, which seems to be the style of this game. Always with the inventory. Always emptying things out. So let's stick back. We don't need that. Don't need that. We'll keep the nitro. Ah, see, the thing is, I know if we put the uh, hand wheel back, the second we put it back, we're going to need it. Let's drop back the ammo for the rifle. Because if we get into a situation where we need the rifle, then two shots should just about unfuck any situation. Just about. Right, let's go. Oh. Well, this is a nice little room. Some ammo. And there's some paintings. It looks like there's a playing oh, a playing card embedded in the paint of the painting. The paint layer is too thick to remove the card without dissolve without dissolving the paint first. Right. So I'm guessing we need to go get that paint thinner. But that was like in a cartridge. So can we just like pour that on? And call it a day? I guess we're about to find out, kids. Uh, developing, yeah. Oh, right, no, that's the developing tank. Ah. What does it say? Let's drop all this stuff back off. And that. Let's grab the developing tank. What does it actually say on the back? <laughs> Can't make it out. Uh, yeah, I can't read what it says on the, on the back. That kind of sucks. It's probably some kind of plot piece. Uh, we're nearly on half an hour, so I think we're going to save it. Right. Let's drop a save there, guys. And when we come back, I guess we're going to continue exploring this thing. Um, it's unfortunate that the pace of the game is just drastically slowed right down to a crawl now just because of our inventory. Um, you know, we should be making way more progress than we are, but every room we go into fills our inventory up. <laughs> and we have to go back and drop stuff off. Ah, madness. Anyway, um, I guess, I'm trying to think, I mean, we've got to find somewhere. What we'll probably do, let's just keep, let's just keep the hand wheel on us, because we know we're going to need to use that somewhere. 
when we come back, we're, I guess, going to try and find something to dissolve paint and somewhere to stick a hand wheel. <laughs> so, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.